Hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the new model question paper for the third sem mathematics CSE stream uh, in this video I will be explaining model 4 question number 7a an experiment on pea breeding the following frequency of seeds were obtained okay this is the data round and yellow is 315 and the wrinkled and yellow is 101 round and green is 108 and wrinkled and green is 32 and total is 556 theory predict predicts that the frequency should be in the proportions 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 examine the correspondence between theory and experiment okay so chi square 0 0.05 is given 70 7.815 okay so this is the chi distribution problem or chi distribution whatever you call it okay uh, as previously we have solved one problem or two problems from chi square distribution the procedure is same only the way of asking the question is different okay see here uh, we were calculating in chi square distribution the expected values but here expected values are not given he has indirectly given the proportions okay see here uh, the frequency should be in the proportions 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 means 9 is for this uh, round and yellow and 3 is for this wrinkled and yellow and 3 is for this round and green and 1 is for wrinkled and green okay these are the proportions so i can <coughs> write down uh, by uh, this much proportion i can write down the expected frequencies which we usually calculate in the chi square distribution so how you are going to calculate the expected frequency see here 9 plus 3 that is 12 plus 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16 so you have to take first this proportion 9 is to 16 so 9 divided by 16 multiplied by this total value that is your 556 which is given so that we can get the expected value of frequency okay so 9 by 16 is to 556 uh, and this 3 is for this wrinkled and yellow so 3 divided by 16 multiplied by 556 3 by 16 again here is the proportion 3 by 16 multiplied by 556 into 1 is to 1 by 16 into 556 so this is for wrinkled and green okay so likewise you will uh, when you calculate this much value you will get 312.75 and uh, by calculating this much you will get 104.25 and again 104.25 and 34.75 take the approx uh, sorry take the value 312.75 it is approximately equal to 313 and this is uh, 104 104 and 34.75 is approximately equal to 35 so that the calculations will be easy for the year so the now uh, now the table is as follows oi is equal to 315 these are the observed values in the question 315 101 108 32 okay and what are the expected values 313 i am taking then i am taking 104 104 and this one i am taking uh, 35 over the year okay so this is the <coughs> value now you have to use the formula as usual in the chi square distribution so we have chi square is equal to summation of oi minus ei uh, square divided by ei okay so what is the oi value 315 okay so 315 minus what is the ei value 313 whole square divided by ei means 313 plus uh, what is the oi next 101 minus 104 101 minus 104 whole square divided by ei means 104 plus 108 minus 104 divided by 104 whole square plus 32 minus 35 whole square divided by 35 once you calculate this much you will get uh, 0.51 okay this is the chi square value but in the question it is mentioned that uh, the chi square at 0 0.05 is equal to uh, 7.815 at the 5 percent level of significance so here we are getting 0 0.51 value from the calculation so it is uh, obviously less than so i can write down since chi square at 3 degrees of freedom is equal to 7.81 why uh, 3 degrees of freedom you already know these are the varieties 1 2 3 4 so it is equal to degree of freedom is equal to 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 number of varieties minus 1 which is equal to 3 right so your degrees of freedom will be 3 so at 3 degrees of freedom you are getting uh, you are having the value 7.815 but we are getting the value 0 0.51 so it is obviously less than 7.81 therefore we can conclude that our hypothesis is accepted in this case over here i hope this is this is clear to you people so make sure you will share this video to all your friends thank you